<laughs> What's up, world? Welcome to Major League Success. Uh, my goal with this series is to bring you value, not only in the real estate uh, industry, but in business in general. My goal is to only share with you things that I know to be true, uh, things that I have personally experienced, or uh, things that I want to bring to you uh, based off of interviews of other people um, that people have sp experience on in other fields. I'm going to bring you the truth about our industry. I'm going to cut the fluff, cut the BS that you may be getting from uh, people outside or people that are around you. I basically want this to be an authentic uh, podcast or video series for you. That way you know uh, what real estate's all about. A little bit uh, about myself. I went to Ohio State, graduated with a bachelor's of science degree in sports and leisure studies. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. What the hell do you do with that? Uh, exactly. So uh, for me personally, it seems like a wasted degree uh, once I graduated college. And uh, that's a whole another video that we'll talk about later on. But uh, once I once I graduated, um, that's when HGTV became uh, popular. And so I was googling around. I, I met Tracy Chambers over at Keller Williams Consultants. She contacted me with Ryan Really, and then over the course of the last eight years, myself, Ryan, and Ashley, our admin, um, have helped grown the Columbus House team to what it is today, and we'll continue to grow that. So for this first episode, I wanted to talk about uh, you getting away, getting away from what you're currently doing uh, while helping you get to where you want to go. I love real estate. I love selling real estate. But over the years, I found that uh, my true passion is helping other agents get started in this business and then succeed in this business. I feel that our industry is broken and I know that um, our real estate classes don't set us up for success. Um, but only to pass the test and to scare you about you know, if your clients are going to sue you or not. So no wonder most agents fail in our industry. Um, I don't know the percentage off the top of my head, but it's pretty high. Um, <clears throat> but part of that's what I like to call the HGTV effect. You know, People go and watch those TV shows and you know, it looks like the agent's only showing three houses and then a client picks one. Um, or you, know, you see uh, another show where they're selling a, a million dollar house and they're going to make you know, $30,000 and that's what they do every single transaction, you know, from their couch. And that's not the reality um, of our industry. So I think when people get into our business, into this business, um, they don't understand what it takes to be successful. They don't see behind the scenes. Um, they don't understand the time investment that's going to take, the money that it's going to take to get started, um, the way different brokerages operate and pay out on closings and the fees that you're going to pay uh, to your brokerage and, and to the board of realtors or to the, the real estate division, uh, whatever that it may be, most even don't even know where to start in our business when it comes to generating leads, what to say when talking to leads, uh, the different types of presentations between buyers and sellers, uh, FISBOs and expireds, the way to write contracts and contingencies. They don't know how to manage clients. They don't know how to manage contract situations or even working with other lenders or title companies uh, whatever it may be. And I feel like we need to educate agents better on those things. Right now, it's, a, it's put all on the brokerages uh, to do those things. And uh, if you're lucky, you know, you're an agent that joined a team and the team leader's the ones that train you. But I would say a majority of people don't understand what those things are when they first get started. Um, as you know, this series is all about truth in real estate. Uh, I wanted to go over the stats that I've pulled from our local MLS here. Um, the last stats that I pulled, there were 32,738 single-family homes that sold last year, uh, 1,459 lots of vacant land that were sold, 904 multifamily properties that are sold, and I found that there's 8,195 licensed agents in our MLS. That equals to 4.28 transactions per licensed agent in our MLS. Let me break that down for you even more. Uh, let's say that you're at a brokerage and you have an 80-20 split. And if you're brand new, um, chances are that you're not gonna be on an 80-20 split. You're gonna be on something that's a lot lower, more favorable to the brokerage. Uh, but the average sales price for, for the Columbus market was 228,654. That means your commission would be $6,859. And that's if you got 3% on every single deal. Um, so that means after splits and everything, you'd be making $22,499 for the whole year. Um, so if you fall into that category, um, or if you're someone who's looking to uh, increase your real estate business and grow your real estate business, you know this is going to be the place for you. I'm going to be opening the playbook of how I have helped lead the team of uh, agents, 17 of which were brand new when they joined our team, go from zero transactions 
to doing real estate consistently and making it a full-time career. Um, I know this video is kind of set up uh, for you know what's wrong in our industry, but I wanted to explain the context of where the majority of people are at in this business, and then I'm going to want to take you down the journey of, of different things and how you can grow your business and talking to different people that can bring value to you, that you can implement in your business. Um, so I hope you got value out of this, um, and, I, and I want to thank you, and uh, always make sure that your will is always more than your want. And if you can do that, then you will succeed uh, in real estate. And if you put yourself around the people that um, are going to help you, um, that are going to show you the way, that are going to give you the truth about our industry, that are going to tell you about the grind it's going to take, that are going to tell you about the hours that you're going to have to put in, that are going to tell you about the nights after hours that you're going to have to put in, that are going to tell you about the weekend hours that you're going to have to put in, then you will be successful. And I hope this series is going to help you uh, grow your business and grow yourself personally. Thanks.